Hi guys, this is Kat here from Crafter Pod Cat. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a very cozy twisted head warmer. Um, so for this pattern, you need Aran weight yarn. Um, I've got this gorgeous style craft teal. Um, you need a five millimeter crochet hook. You need some scissors and a darning needle. So this pattern is in US terms. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to make the adult size, so sort of an adult medium size headband today. And but as a general rule, you want your headband to be approximately one inch smaller than your head. So it will have enough stretch so that it's one inch smaller than your head. So for this, I'm going to be starting off with a slip knot. And remember, you can watch all of the basic crochet stitches um, on my YouTube channel. So if you need help with a slip knot or the chain stitch, um, just have a look at those other videos. So we're going to start off with a chain 70. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, so that's my first 15, and I'll meet you back when I've got 70 chains. Okay, so I've now got my chain 70, and we're going to start off by working into the third chain here. So that's one, two, and then into the third. So we're going to start off with a half double crochet. So that's yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, Gonna yarn over, pull through, and we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull through all three. Okay, so we're gonna do that into the next chain, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So keep this nice and loose for your first um, row. So we're gonna make a half double crochet in each chain all the way across. Okay, so just half double crochet in each stitch across. So by the end, you'll have 68 half double crochets and because we skipped those first two chains at the beginning. So keep working all the way along, just a half double crochet in each chain and I'll meet you back at the end of the row. Okay, so I've got to the end of my first row. So I've half double crocheted in each stitch across. So now I'm gonna start row two. So we're gonna chain two, and that doesn't count as a stitch, that's just our turning chain. And then we're gonna half double crochet in the first two stitches. So that's one, and that's two. Okay, so now we're going to make a puff stitch in this third stitch here. So for the puff stitch, we're going to yarn over our hook, insert your hook into the stitch, and we're going to yarn over, and we're going to pull through. So you see we've got three loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over again, going to insert the hook into the same stitch, going to yarn over, pull through, so keeping this nice and loose. So we've got five loops on the hook. Gonna yarn over, insert your hook one more time. Gonna yarn over, pull through. And you see we've got seven loops on the hook. So we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull through all seven. You see if you've kept it nice and loose, that should be easy to pull through. So you see you've got your puff stitch there. So now we're gonna just half double crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to puff stitch in the next stitch. So again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through three loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through for five loops, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through for seven loops, and then yarn over and pull through all seven. Okay. So now we're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. 
and we're going to pass stitch again in the next one. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through, and all through seven. And there we go. And the half double crochet. So you can see this is like the front. So at the moment you're working on the back side. Um, this would be the front side of your headband, so you can see those really lovely puff stitches forming there. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue working um, with a puff stitch and a half double crochet all the way to the end. Um, I'm going to finish when you've got three stitches left, so you'll make a puff stitch and then you'll have three stitches and you'll half double crochet in each of those stitches to finish. Um, I will show you that at the end, so I'll meet you back when we've got three stitches to go. Okay, so I've worked all the way along, so as you can see, puff stitches and the half double crochets. And we've now got three stitches left, so I'm just going to half double crochet in each stitch to the end. Okay, so we're now going to turn our work so that we're facing the right way, so I've chained two again as our turning chain and then we're now going to work just a half double crochet in each stitch all the way along so get your one two three and you're going to half double crochet in the top of the puff stitch and you're going to half double crochet all the way along your work Okay, so that's round, that's row three. Get the camera to focus. So you're just going to half double crochet all the way along to the end. Okay, so finish round three. And um, so that was just the H, uh, half double crochet all the way across. So I'm going to chain two for our turning chain. And we're going to start around row four. So to start row four, we're going to half double crochet in the first three stitches. Okay, so two, round three. So now we're going to make our puff stitch in this next stitch. And so we're going to do the same as before. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, three, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, five, and yarn over, insert your hook yarn over, pull through seven, and then yarn over, pull through, pull through, uh, through all seven. So I'll just do the next, so in the next stitch you do the half double crochet in the next stitch, and I'll show you what this looks like. So we're basically placing a puff stitch in between those last two puffs um, from round two. So we're then going to make another puff stitch in the next stitch. And we're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. Then again. So you can see we're just doing the same as we did in the last round, um, sorry, as in round two, which is puff stitch, half double crochet all the way across. Um, and as you can see, it puts your puffs in the middle um, of the puffs from, the, from round two. So we're going to carry on um, all the way to the end until you've got two stitches remaining. So we're going to make a puff stitch in this third to last and then we're going to half double crochet in each of those two stitches at the end and um, but i'll meet you back at the end of the row to show you that okay so we've now um reached the ends so we're on our last three stitches so we're going to puff in this last one sorry third to last one not the last one and then we're going to half double crochet in the last two Okay, 
Okay, so that's the end of row four. So we're gonna chain two internal work. So now you can see um, how lovely this looks when um, it's all worked up. So that, this is actually the row repeat from now on. Um, I'll keep showing you for a few more rows. Um, so this one for row five, we're just gonna half double crochet all the way along. So it's half double crochet in each stitch through the end. Okay, so that's the end of row five. I'm going to chain two. And now we're actually just going to be repeating row two. So from now on, you will repeat row two, row three, row four, and row five until you've finished. Um, so what we're going to do again is we are going to half double crochet in the first two stitches. And then we're going to puff stitch in the next one. And we're going to half double crochet. And we're going to puff stitch in the next one. Okay, so we're going to repeat that all the way across just as we did on row two um, until we've got three stitches remaining here and then we're going to half double crochet in each of those three stitches. So again I'll meet you back at the end just to show you that. So puff stitch and half double crochet until we've got three stitches remaining at the end. Okay, so we're at the end of round uh, row six, and we've got three stitches left. So we're going to half double crochet in each stitch to the end. I'm going to chain two and turn. And then we're just going to half double crochet all the way back along for row seven. So Row eight, you will do as you did on row four. Row nine, you will half double crochet all the way across. Row 10, you will do as you did on row two and row six. And then row 11, you will half double crochet all the way across. So you can see that the pattern is just repeating itself here. So, okay, so that is now the end of our 11 rows. Um, so we're going to fasten off. I cut the yarn, leave quite a long tail. Just sew it together. Just going to tie that in a knot. Okay, so we've now got our um, rectangular piece of work. Um, we've got our puff stitches facing up, so facing inwards. I'm now going to take the two pieces, I'm going to make them both into a C. Okay, so then we're going to slot these two pieces together. So that goes into the centre. See that wraps around that piece. Keep the end out. And then this piece wraps around the bottom there. Okay, so now you can see you've got all four pieces together. So I'll show you one more time. So you fold them into a C. And then we're going to insert it into the centre and wrap around the bottom. Okay, so when we've got the four pieces together, got this tail end out, and um, we're going to sew across all four pieces so make sure you pick up all four on the way and we're just going to sew back and forth a few times to secure so through all four Again, as you get to the end, just make sure you pick up 
all four pieces. So if we go in here, just all the way to the end, and go back again to secure it. and secure now. So I'm just going to use some of the stitches to tie a knot to secure the yarn. Just do that one more time. And then we're just going to weave in the ends. We'll just go back and forth through a few different stitches, a few different ways so that that end is really secure. going to take our other tail end and weave that in too on this to make sure it's on the inside of the headband so just want to go back and forth through the middle and then just going to weave in and out fasten off that and here we have it so now you can turn your headband the right way round so you've got your puff stitches on the outside and that's it that is your finished twisted and very cozy ear warmer um, so I hope you've enjoyed making this pattern. Thank you so much for following along. Um, as I say, I've got a written pattern available on my Etsy shop. If you'd like the um, full written sizes from newborn up to adult large um, and the written instructions are all in there. Um, otherwise, thank you so much. Um, enjoy. See you next time.